The day is finally here. Crystal Creation Stuff Pack has just been released today. I'm so excited for this. I'm really not that much of a jewelry person, but I love getting hobbies for my sims. So I'm really excited about this. We have our new splash screen here. We have sections for jewelry by you, all charts up and dark and dreamy. So for my playthrough of this pack, we will be going to Glimmerbrook. I already have a sim and a house ready. The house is empty because I wanted to fill it with all of the new stuff. So we're going to go ahead and go in here first. And before we even continue, I am going to do a save as. I always do this at the beginning of my game. So I have multiples of saves. This is all one save actually. I only play under one save and I just do a save as and back up my saves as well. So I have 21 versions of this exact same save and I do highly recommend everybody else to do this, especially when patches are around, especially with buggy ones that we've had lately. So as I said before, this is in Glimmerbrook and this is my spellcaster sim. I thought it would go really well with the new jewelry because it looks very magical to me. And I've also heard that some of the jewelry does interact with occults. So I wanted to see what that was like. Now, before we go into this, I have heard that there is a brand new aspiration that comes with this stuff pack. Okay, so it did take me a second to find it, but it is here under nature and it is called the Crystal Crafter. This sim wants to cut gemstones, craft jewelry, and harness the power of crystals. Attuned sims have great insights into the mysteries of crystals. The jewelry they wear will remain charged for longer and they can absorb energy from charged crystals. And there are four levels here. So we're going to change her aspiration to this. It's so handy that you can do that. I love that I can change the aspiration whenever I wish. Okay, and we are now in Create a Sim. I can't wait to see what all is here. For females, we get five different hairs here. Here is the first one. And we have a variation of that one, but with a color. And I love that it turned it purple. Oh my gosh, I love that. The colors go so well together. We have this stunning hairstyle. Oh my gosh, with the cute little barrette in the back. That is adorable. Oh, we have this hair. I really like this hair. Oh, I like this one too, with the rings in the hair and it's braided and then up in a bun. I like that a lot. I think we're going to choose this one for our sim. So under accessories, we only have two accessories here. You'd think for a jewelry pack, there would be more, but they want you to craft your own. So I think we're going to go with that. And then we're going to put this necklace on her too. It doesn't seem there is any new makeup. So we only have one new top for this pack. That is a uh, very light indeed. You would think there would be more items in this pack, but it doesn't seem there is. But what we do have is nice. And here is a skirt to go with the top. I really like the skirt. That is nice. Okay, I think we're gonna go with that. Under accessories, we have a ring here and another ring, and we have some really cute leggings here. And for shoes, we have those awesome crystal shoes they showed from the trailer. I was actually really excited for that. And then we have some boots here. And these are the full bodied outfits we have. I really like this dress a lot. And it comes in a bunch of different colors. This was actually the dress that caught my interest the most from the trailer. I'm going to put it in white. And I saw those new shoes. We're going to give those to her. These are the new shoes and they have little jewels on them. I 
love it we also have this outfit but i don't see myself using this one too often we have this outfit next and i really do like that yeah i like this one a lot you put it in a lighter color and you can see a lot more detail going on yeah i really like this this is probably my favorite outfit right now from this pack and of course we have this outfit as well but you know i'm honestly not really feeling this one too much but we'll put the crystal shoes on with this one we'll put it in light blue actually in the light blue you can see it a little bit better i do like these heels but i wish we would get more heels in the game most of the heels in the game really aren't that tall and they're just not really my vibe and that is really it for the adult females we'll go over the males and the children in a little bit but for right now i'm just really eager to get into the game and see what the game plays like okay so i am going to cheat real quick because i do want to get all of the items so it does look like we got a new room but i'm going to place my own stuff and we can already see everything highlighted right here but we're going to make sure only the new stuff is selected so i'm counting about 31 items here so not too bad for the 10 us dollars i spent now, I love the sofa. I saw it in the trailer and immediately wanted it. It looks so pretty to me. And here it is in all of the different colors you can get. We have a professor armchair here. And of course, we have a ton of different swatches here too. I love this too. It is an extra long accent table which i really did need so i'm really happy to see this and it does come in so many colors i love the color scheme for this pack we have this as well and we have a crystal clear coffee table which i do like a lot i like the little designs on the edge we have a new desk i am also reading all of the descriptions as i go through this if there is anything interesting in the descriptions i'll let you know i'm always looking for hints for fairies or cars or something we have the gemology table here and i am so excited for this oh we have a selling table here it looks like i can put my stuff here and sell it outside so this is like the table from the home chef hustle kit i love it so this is the charging pad that we've been hearing about. So I'm going to put it right over here. All right, I got to mention this one, the all star tool rack. I got to giggle out of this. Become the sharpest tool in the shed with this wall rack. You don't have to worry about the years that won't stop coming. These tools are made to last a lifetime. Yeah, this one was really cheeky. It made me laugh. Here is the lamp. I love it so much. I would actually like to have one of these in my house. And here we go. Here is all of the items. But I'm going to go into live mode real quick and turn on all the lights. There we go. That way we can see what's going on. And if I'm not mistaken, there should be new wallpaper. Yep. And there is, there is a wallpaper here. And oh my gosh, I love it so much. This was actually the first thing I really noticed from the trailer and I loved it so much. I love this wallpaper. It's so pretty. But sadly, we do not have any new floors. All right, so these are all of the items. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of put everything together now. Okay, and here it is. As you can tell, I am keeping the house extremely basic because I'm really just wanting to play with the new items, but I think it would be fun to do a twist. I'm going to turn this house into a haunted house residential because my sim is a spellcaster and I think it might be fun to have that extra little element. All right, so here we are. So the first thing I want to do is I want to come over here to the table and I can design a random jewelry for 300. I can cut a gemstone. 
I can design jewelry. Oh, this bookshelf has slots on it so you can put all of your things on it. I like that and I was not actually expecting it. So I kind of want to cut some gemstones and I believe I can order them. So yes, you can go here and click purchase crystals. So I do think I'm going to do that. I just bought one of everything for now. Okay, so under my aspiration, it says buy a gemology table, which we already did. Collect five crystals or metals, which I just did. And they want us to gift jewelry or successfully propose with a craftable ring. So I want to design jewelry. I'm going to pick this bracelet and this. Okay. We're going to try this as my first one. And here is the animation going. And she just like dropped her pliers. <laughs> She's so klutzy. I love it. So your sim can hit herself in the head. <laughs> and she can pinch her finger as she has already done. Oh, we are already seeing some things from the haunted house. We'll have her mop those when she can. There is a lot of detail in this gem table and it looks really cool. Also, how cool is this bookcase with the ladder? Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed, you guys. Oh, we already have a ghost out here too. Shine on. As Hazel stares into the various angles and cuts of the crystal in front of her, the universe seems to stare back. Is it fate? Should she like gemology? Well, yes, of course. <laughs> okay, it looks like she finished her bracelet. We can sell it for 98 simoleons. We can wear it or we can list it on Plopsy. Oh my gosh, you guys, look, look, look. Under wear, you can wear it with your current outfit or you can wear it on all outfits. We're gonna click wear on all outfits. If only they'd put that in for create a sim. Oh, look, we actually have a rock right here. So we're gonna dig that up. And she just put that bracelet on on all outfits. There it is. She put it on and I love it so much. They need to let me be able to put whatever I want on all outfits. I have been wanting that for so long. Hazel can now discuss crystal properties with other sims and can design delicate jewelry and cut emerald gemstones at the gemology table. Oh, she just lost power because of the haunted house. It, now she has the paranoid trait because she lost power. That's so funny. I know you couldn't hear it, but it was so loud when they lost the power in my headphones. Oh my gosh, I jumped. So she lost all the power because of the ghost. Of course, this is from the paranormal pack, which I am playing in combination with my spellcaster and the new staff pack. And I can't turn the lights on. Who shut down the power? <laughs> oh, that's really funny to me. She is tired though. So we're going to put her to sleep. Even though it says goosebumps, Hazel can't help but notice this place is a little haunted. What was that? She's hearing noises in the middle of the night. So she's hiding under her covers. Oh no. My hope is that the jewelry that she makes will help enhance her magic, which will help with the haunted house. And in my save file, it is a summer vacation. One of the things I do is that for every single day of the summer, everybody gets that day off from school and work. Cause I like my sims to have an entire week where they can just do whatever. But but it is the last day of summer and it looks like it is going to be a cloudy day. So we are going to cut a gemstone. We have these three. So we're going to try this one and we're going to grab this crystal. If charged on the crystal grid, your Sims will gain creative skills faster. Sim is more likely to create a masterpiece. Sim will not experience writer's block and Sim will take longer to burn out on creative activities. Okay, so we're gonna try that. So when they're cutting their gemstones, they're gonna go over here instead of right here. And there she goes, she's trying to cut it. She's so clumsy. I love the beginning animations in all of the crafts because they're quite entertaining. <laughs> so I think the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna make some jewelry and we're gonna give it to somebody. We're gonna go make, go make a buddy. <laughs> and we're gonna 
gift them the jewelry. Oh, it's a good thing that's the plan because she needs to get her social up. So we'll have her finish this, make some jewelry, and go somewhere to meet someone. And of course, you can see her bracelet right there. It really did go on to every single outfit, including her nightwear. Okay, so I now have a crystal, which I can charge on the crystal grid. I can sell it or I can view it. I'm going to charge it on the crystal grid. I think they said you really need to be charging it out in the moonlight, but it's 4 p.m. <laughs> So that's not really gonna work for me, but we're gonna attempt it anyway just to see what will happen. So it is on the grid, but it says I cannot charge it because I have no gemstones or jewelry. I think I just can't charge it at all until it's nighttime. So I'm going to design a random jewelry for 300 and that's what we're gonna give away. Oh, level three. Hazel is now more likely to find crystals and metals when digging out rocks and can design lunar goddess jewelry and cut seed shaped gemstones at the gemology table. So the animation has changed a little bit. She doesn't look nearly as clumsy as she did at level one. She can even toss her pliers up in the air and catch them now before she kept pinching her finger and everything. Okay so here is the random jewelry we got. It's a delicate bracelet. If charged on the crystal grid, you'll get an angry, embarrassed, sad, and scared moodlets. Okay, so I paid 300 for this, but I can only sell it for 183. Um, we're gonna put this in our inventory. And actually, it's nighttime now. Can I charge this? Okay, so I can charge this bracelet here. So we're gonna do that. So you got to put a gemstone on there and then wait until nighttime, I believe, and then get jewelry and then you can charge the jewelry. So we're gonna charge it. Oh, it's glowing. Okay, so it's on there. So is it charged? Oh, okay, so I put it on there and it says it is now charging, but it's going to take six hours until it is fully charged. So this is not instant. You do have to wait. Okay, I guess we'll wait, charge it up and then give it to someone. Or you know what, she really her social is really low. I'm going to go ahead and take it back off and go meet someone and give it to them so we can continue our aspiration. I hate waiting. <laughs> so that is interesting. Under her inventory, this is the bracelet she's currently wearing and it's in her inventory still though, which is odd. You can remove it from all of your outfits or just your current outfit. And here is the one I just got. Okay, well, let's go meet someone so we can give it to them. Okay, so we just went to the downtown bar in Glimmerbrook. So let's meet someone here. We'll meet her and she's already uncomfortable. So that's kind of sad. So how do I gift it to her? Okay. You can actually just click the bracelet and hit gift. So we're going to go ahead and gift it to her. And there she goes. I think she's supposed to wear it as soon as she gets it. No, she didn't put it on. Oh wait, okay, there she goes. She just put it on and there it is. Oh, I love that. Okay, so we're gonna just have her hang out here at the bar for a little bit and like socialize, get that meter up and then we're gonna go back home and do the rest of these steps. Oh, you can show off your jewelry to someone. I love that the animation's so cute. Let me, can I do that again? Oh, and you can ask to see her jewelry as well. And there she goes, she's showing hers off too. I love that. I wonder, do I have any, okay, I can enthuse about gemology. Discuss crystal properties. All right, we're gonna go ahead and send her home. Oh, I think it just started snowing in my game. How pretty is that? So the next thing we're supposed to do is wear a fully charged jewelry piece. So I don't have one of those. So once again, we're going to, well, we'll design jewelry this time. So I kind of like these earrings. Gain charisma skill faster and you'll be more successful with friendly social. So we're gonna make that. This is real pretty, just making her jewelry while it's softly snowing outside. The Sims is just 
such a cozy game for me. Except for when she's hitting herself in the head by accident, of course. Now she just heard a scream in the house. And there is the finished product. We're going to charge it on the crystal grid. Okay, it's on the grid and this one will take six hours to charge. That's quite a while. So I'm gonna have her go to bed for now. So it is morning and it says it is not charging. Place up to seven gemstones or jewelry pieces on a crystal grid that is outdoors between 7 and 7 a.m. to charge them and unlock their hidden powers. And we're going to get some more crystals and gems here. So we're going to go ahead and try the eye necklace. That seems real cool. For this combo, Sims will get over breakups faster and Sims social needs will not decay. Oh, I could use that. So we just had somebody knock on the door, but I think they're being chased away by the ghost. Oh, he's glowing now. So I guess he did meet with the ghost. All right, we've just reached level five. Hazel will now craft jewelry and gemstones faster and can design bling jewelry and cut brilliant cut gemstones at the gemology table. She's actually leveling up really quick. This combination will give you better work in school performance and can complete homework faster. It really feels like there is no end to the combinations that you can do. It's kind of crazy. I doubt anybody will be able to figure out every single combination anytime soon. All right, well, I think we are going to wrap up the video right here. So far, I am really liking the pack and I feel like we've made a lot of progress. We're already at level five. I can't wait to see what else I can dive into in this pack. Let me know down below, did you buy this pack and what are you thinking about it? I hope all of you have a lovely, lovely day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.